So the creator of Bleach is back on Twitter. Now in case you're wondering, well, why did he leave to begin with? In case you ain't seen my video, it was quite a few months back, possibly even a year back. He was kind of trolled off Twitter in a way because there was this guy, he was posing as a porn star as Kubo's image. Because in case you don't know, creator of Bleach, Taite Kubo, he has the signature look of wearing some shades and crossing his arms and kind of looking like, you know, he's trying to be a bad boy or something like that. And the dude had the similar hairstyle the shades but he had like a fishnet shirt and it was just really a bizarre turn of events to be honest with you it was kind of like what, 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 why would you, out of everything, why would you cosplay as a manga creator for your porn career and, and try to pull this off or whatever, like, the lawsuit could have been humongous and stuff like that, but nonetheless, after all the controversy, he kind of just said screw it and he closed down his Twitter, and ever since then, he was pretty much, you know, ghost as far as social media, but recently, he came back, he actually reopened up his Twitter about a day or so ago, and he's had a couple things to showcase, nothing really big, I would love, and I I hope it does happen at some given point for him to start talking again maybe give us some insight as to what happened towards the end of bleach but we really haven't gotten anything from his new twitter account other than the fact that we got some new images that he actually posted one of them being mayuri giving ichigo flowers with the number 15 behind it so i guess it's kind of like to congratulate him for bleach you know having 15 long years you know a nice run and stuff like that some other things he showcased is like some gaming drawings that he did of like people playing video games so maybe kubo's been playing a lot of video games lately that's possibility what he's been doing since the end of bleach because you got to think well he's not doing new manga bleach is over what has the creator bleach been up to apparently he was supposed to be from what i heard on the set of the bleach movie and kind of like helping to create it or whatever i personally think that he's probably never really been there if he has he may have been there once or twice because based on the images and stuff like that i don't see kubo approving of any of that because it looks really cheap and it just doesn't really feel like something kubo would let fly because especially Especially with the fashion and stuff like that, Kubo was really on point. At one point, I think he wanted to stop being a manga creator or he wanted to follow his pursuit of being a fashion style person or whatever. So I highly doubt that he actually is really involved in the Bleach live action movie that supposedly is coming in 2018. But another big thing that people are clamoring on about besides the fact that Kubo is back, which again, one thing I guess last to touch up on is the fact that him returning, what could this mean? Could it mean anything other than the fact that, hey, he wants to be on Twitter again? I think there's a possibility maybe his content track would jump finally ran out now that Bleach is done and stuff like that so maybe now he's allowed to do things because I wouldn't be surprised to be honest with you if Shueisha was pressuring him like yo this is a bad image people are thinking you're out there you know bleaching bitches and shit like that they think you're on some porn shit you need to just leave you need to just get off of Twitter so that's probably another reason why he left so now he's free reigns to do as he pleases but yeah the big thing that people are talking about as well is there's a couple images of these people that they call themselves something like jump police or something like that and in the the images you see they're actually talking about bleach anime and a lot of people are assuming there's a possibility that this could mean that they're going to be talking about the return of the bleach anime there's supposedly a special coming out sometime this week i believe friday that is like a 30 minute special where they're going to be talking about the bleach anime and people are assuming there's a possibility there's going to be some sort of resurgence of the bleach anime they're going to bring it back bleach is going to be you know coming back with a whole bunch of different things because i've seen little inklings here or there of jump actually doing small little tidbits of like bleach promotion here or there nothing major and of course the fact that Kubo's back it could mean something good for the Bleach anime because again a lot of fans including myself are really really hoping that one day the Bleach anime returns and of course with the Bleach manga being over it seems like it's less likely that the Bleach anime is going to come back right because uh, the main purpose of an anime is essentially a long commercial to advertise hey go read the manga go buy the manga since the manga is over and usually Shonen Jump like to have anime for ongoing series again it seems less likely that the anime is going to come back but based on these scans they're going to be having a round table talking about bleach and retrospect and who knows it could lead to something big it could lead to something you know huge or it could lead to nothing and it could just be again maybe a little spot they had time and they wanted to talk about bleach so yeah for all the people that they have their hopes high honestly i wouldn't put my hopes that high i really really wouldn't because again it, it's just people like you know on a commercial essentially going to talk for 30 minutes about bleach so i don't want to be very you know down about it i don't want to be a downer but i wouldn't put my hopes high for something regarding the bleach anime i just wouldn't i mean again it would be nice i would love the bleach anime to come back i would love for them to have kubo on board so he can actually
actually add things that he initially wanted to have in the manga before he got cancelled. There's so many possibilities of what they could do with the Bleach story, assuming the anime returns, but based on the scan and stuff like that, which I'll have linked in the description below so you can check it out, it doesn't really seem like it's something huge. Again, it could be great, it could be awesome. Because again, with Kubo's return to Twitter, who's to say that he doesn't have some great ideas? Like, personally, as a fan of Bleach, because even though, you know, I've given Bleach a lot of shit, but ultimately I am a fan of it, you know, I've bought the entirety of the anime, I have a shitload of the manga, so I am a fan of the anime and stuff like that, and I would love to see it come back, and, you know, being optimistic about it, who knows, maybe Taisei Kubo's return to Twitter is the fact that he's back on board, he took a break, and he's ready to help Studio Periot come back with the anime and work on it and all sorts of stuff like that, or maybe he's working on a new spin-off manga, Bleach, or maybe he's working on his next work, there's so many possibilities, again with Kubo coming back. But I did hear word from a reliable source that actually for years upon years has had some insight regarding Studio Peria and you know the workings in there. A lot of people that are a part of the Bleach staff or were a part of the Bleach staff have been outsourced to do other projects. A lot of people are working on Naruto right now. Some of the famous directors are working on other projects. So the initial Bleach team, assuming that it was to come back and they wanted that initial team that did Bleach all those years and stuff like that to come back and work on it again, it would have to probably be late 2017 2018 at the earliest which again is a far stretch and assuming that they still want to live off of the remaining any remnants of hype that Bleach had towards the end they will probably want to get on board with the anime as soon as possible because you got to think right they, they want to strike while the iron's hot even though the iron really isn't that hot anymore especially after the ending that we got from Bleach the iron ain't gonna be that hot but nonetheless it still has some remnants of hype the Bleach manga only ended a few months ago back in August so you got to think okay if they would like to be, you know, when Bleach is still somewhat relevant, then it would have to come back as soon as possible, but again, if the staff is busy doing other stuff, working on Naruto, working on other anime, they're directing other projects, and, you know, 2017, 2018, or late 2017, early 2018 is the earliest that they can get on board, then the probability of the Bleach anime, again, I don't like to be a downer, but I'm just being a realist, it doesn't look like it's that likely. And with more time passing and more time passing that the Bleach anime doesn't come back, it seems like it would have to be luck for it to come back at this point. Because unlike, you know, Hunter Hunter, that the fan base is really hardcore. Like for Hunter Hunter, the fans, they will wait. Tagashi will say his fucking ass aches and he ain't coming back for another two years. And they will wait. I mean, partially including myself, I do, you know, love me some Hunter Hunter. And I, I will wait or whatever. But ultimately, the Bleach fan base, you gotta argue, are are they the same? It's just a question. Will they be the same diehards like the Hunter Hunter fandom that will come back and support the Bleach anime? I mean, I know I'll be on board. I know a lot of my friends will be on board if the Bleach anime came back in another year or two, but let's just say three or four years, will Bleach still have that zest to it that a lot of the fans love that they'll come back and support the Bleach anime? That's, you know, one of those questions that remains to be seen because it's kind of like Hunter Hunter has that cult following. Does Bleach have it or was Bleach's main popularity a lot more of a casual thing that you know, hey, I, I used to like Bleach, but, you know, I'm, I grew out of it or stuff like that. That's another question. And overall, like, and I mean, with Kubo being back on Twitter and stuff like that, I mean, it's it's just a good site in general because, like, he seemingly went into hiding for a while after the whole porn scandal. And, I mean, again, it wasn't even his fault. Like, I, I hate to keep jumping off topic about everything with his return or whatever, but him leaving wasn't his fault to begin with. It was like some dude was parading around as some fucking Taite Kubo porn star, so he had to be run off of it, essentially. But him being back, I just hope the best. I hope that there's something big coming out of this, maybe a project, maybe he's gonna be working on a new manga, and this is all, again, you know, hopes, but you, you never really know, especially how Jump has been treating a lot of their famous authors, like, a lot of them, either the authors don't wanna do it anymore, they just, they're done with the weekly schedule, or if they're not successful enough, they just send them to side magazines, like, hey, you can work on this bi-monthly magazine for a new manga, and then after, like, you know, a couple months, we'll, we'll get rid of your shit, so there's a possibility there that, who knows, maybe Kubo could be doing some side stuff for like V-Jump. There's so many possibilities, but we just gotta wait and see, I guess, right? But let me know what you guys think about all this. First of all, Kubo's return. Do you think that that means anything regarding Bleach's concern? Do you think that there's a possibility he could be working on a spinoff? Could it be that Kubo's working on a new manga? Could it just be that he wanted to come back in general to talk some Bleach? Because again, he has a few drawings there, 15th anniversary. I think, again, it's kind of signifying that he's been playing a lot of games because he did a lot of drawings of people playing video games, so maybe he just wanted to talk about what he's been up to. And do you think regarding this whole article of the 
patrol people that are going to be talking about the Bleach anime? Could it be signifying something good about the Bleach anime? Could it just be a retrospect? Could it be all not necessarily a coincidence with Kubo coming back at this time, the final volume releasing, and this whole patrol thing? I'm, you never know. I don't want to be a conspiracy theorist, but it would be great for the Bleach anime to come back. I know I'd definitely review it. I know I'd definitely watch it, and I know I'll definitely enjoy it as long as it has the same type of animation and, you know, quality, so to speak, that the Bleach anime had before it ended. Any overall thoughts of this? But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you liked anything I had to say or enjoyed the video, drop me a like. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you want more from me, make sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and stalk my Facebook to get more when the video ends. I'm Fenebra World, and as always, people, have an awesome day. Hopefully we hear something good from the Bleach anime soon, but again, time will tell.